Okay, I'm going to do the um, explanation here on the, the Chobra, trying to get the hold to line up. So, what I've got here, I took the wick out. This one actually got messed up because this wasn't, the top cap wasn't tight enough onto the center section. So, when this got tightened down in an effort to line the hole up, Sometimes you might need to turn it just a little more. Try to refrain from tightening that too tight because what happens is when you go to take the cap off, which you do have to take it off to refill it or to mess with your coil, so it does come on and off quite a bit. So when you tighten this down too tight, what happens is, is that this starts, it gets caught on there. So the cap doesn't come off by itself. The whole top section wants to come off with it. What happened when that took place was that my center post here, the positive connection, it pulled up really tight and it basically busted the insulators in there. So, you know, the rubber that that stops the positive from touching the negative. So, don't do that. Okay, that's that's one, one downside to this from not having uh, knurled edges here at the top. Okay, so just so it's nice and snug, you shouldn't have any issues. Okay, so what I'm going to do for the quick fix part one on this to line this hole up if your cap goes just past the wick what you can do to fix that if you don't care and you want you want to get it done quick just lift the tank up a little bit okay um, while I was while I'm at it um, the way to tighten this thing down this top and I, I would recommend everybody does this with theirs take your fingers and you don't have to mess with the wick and the, and the wire, you just take your fingernails, wedge it in there at that fill bolt, and then at the ground bolt, and just give it a good tighten while you're holding the knurled edges at the bottom. Make sure that it's nice and snug, okay? That way the cap don't get stuck on there, okay? Now back to where I was at before. What I did was I pushed my two fingers here on the screws again and lift up on the tank okay lifting up on the tank try not to go past the o-ring actually you can't because you pass the threads up at the top so this puts a little gap in there but this will get you going okay this isn't the best way to do it but it's a quick way to do it you don't have to sand on anything okay so I've got a sewing needle in there so I know where it's gonna line up at I'm going to grab the bottom and I'm going to grab the cap and I'm going to tighten that down. And what's this going to, what this is going to do is this going to push the tank back down and it is going to line up my holes. So just keep turning until they line up. There you go. I've got a very small gap there. This isn't going to work for everybody. But if it goes past by probably half to a three quarter you probably can get this done doing it that way okay but the further past that it is the more the gap is going to be down there at the bottom you don't want it to leak so all right so that's the quick way the other way take that sewing needle out you don't have to take anything loose at the top as far as your your wick and coil are concerned just kind of be careful you don't mess that stuff up but you can just put a finger down right there at the top push up until you pass the bottom o-ring and then just slide that thing up okay and everything has juice in it from the factory so it's everything's lubricated if you have sandpaper, sandpaper works. I use a grinder wheel because it works the best. Because it's a solid surface and you can sand with it, okay? If you have regular sandpaper, you can put it on a small 2x4 or 1x4, whatever, a piece of wood in general, and just make a little flat area and and move it around you can nail 
to a board. You can use a stapler, staple gun, get that sandpaper down, or you can uh, just kind of hold it there and just move it around, you know, just spin it back and forth if you want to. But you want to make sure it's a nice flat surface, and that's why I use the grinder wheel. What I do is I just kind of go in a circle. Okay. What you're going to have to do. Remove some material and then put it back on to test. This is the part some people are scared of because they think this is going to take forever. But it's just like every other job that you might do in the world. If you have the right tool, it's not hard at all. Okay. Put that needle back in there. I haven't done this yet with any of the other ones that I had. I'm quite a bit past it on mine. So I'm just going to have to sand a little bit more. Oh, look at that. It's Coming off of there. Well, it's already all taken apart anyway. So that's what I'm talking about. You got to be careful with that. That's the sucky part. See that the damn top cap. Oh boy. This may actually turn out not to be the best way to do this guys I hate to have a lot of people getting their insulators all messed up because these threads aren't the best really it actually wants to stop turning right there Yeah, it's done. Shoot. Damn. 